pussy and I like the trees. Smoke so much weed, you wouldn't believe. And I get more hey, ass girl. than a toilet seat. Three to the one, from the one to the three. I met a bad bitch last night in the D. Good evening everybody, my name is Nathan and this is a response video to the Q&A I promised you all that time before. Thank you very much for waiting. Now, just a bit of a heads up for everybody really. I'm going to be doing this video when I can, whenever people's out of the house for example and I can film in peace, okay? Hope you understand. I might be wearing different t-shirts, my hair might be a bit sexier. Um, but you know, I'll do what I can and hope you'll appreciate it. As I said before, my name's Nathan, I pretty much just do reaction videos, if you're new to this video, please put up with the whole woo, positive vibe uh, thing, energy that I'm giving off. Squirrel! Moth. <laughs> Anywho, like I said, uh, my Facebook nibblings, yes I do have a Facebook by the way, check it out down below, it's on my YouTube banner as well. My Facebook nibblings, they get a, they get first dibs on the questions, so let's just see what questions we have. So the first question comes from Laura Gill Humphrey. Can't really pronounce that wrong, can I? <laughs> I've had some names on this channel, honestly, trust me. Right, Laura says, What, if anything, influenced you to start making YouTube videos? Well, I had a girlfriend at the time. It's not true. She is actually a YouTuber herself. Now, points to you actually, if you follow me and you actually know who she is, because I think, I think, I do think that she still does YouTube videos. But alas, that's a story for a different time. Maybe a story time, huh? Eh? Should I use her real name? Should I use her real name? No, I'm not gonna. She actually said to me one time when we were living together, um, you should do YouTube videos, I would totally watch you. And as it turns out, she started a YouTube channel before me, and like a like a little puppy, I don't know. I just followed suit. She she gave me the uh, encouragement that I needed, frankly, by doing it herself, I suppose, to to go ahead and try it myself. And so I started my gaming channel. That's what she did as well. I'm not sure what she does now. However, um, I did a YouTube uh, YouTube gaming channel, and yeah, um, the videos. I've got to admit, my, my early videos, I exaggerated some of my reactions. You know, you kind of see all these jump scares, I suppose. But um, I certainly became more comfortable from the middle to the end. And I start doing this channel when I didn't really see much traction on that channel because the the let's play kind of genre of uh, videos, it's, it's really heavily saturated uh, video marketing place, I suppose. So, because the, the amount of editing that goes into those videos as well, that is so much editing, honestly. If I could afford an editor with a really good sense of humor, I would hire one, but alas, I can't. And so I decided to do, to do these stupid little videos. Why? Because it's it's fun. Doesn't require much editing uh, unless I put uh, you know green screens in and shit uh, as I have in the past. But yeah, it's 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 a laugh. And frankly, I've made a lot of friends on YouTube who I still know to this day from all around the world, by the way. So good question, Laura. Thanks. The next question comes from Noah Leslie. All right, Noah. So Noah asks, would you consider YouTube as a hobby, a passion, or a career? Well, I don't think you could really call YouTube a career unless you're north of 50k subs with, you know, a nice little trickle of ad revenue coming in, I suppose. I choose not to put ads on my videos. This too is false! Um, you might notice the, the annoying little box which comes up on the videos. You can click off them. You know, I, I personally don't really like, you know, skippable ad videos. Maybe. In the future, I'll do it. I can afford a better camera, you know. When I first started out this channel, I was like, "Hey, I've got a, I've got a PayPal. Do you want to donate to my PayPal, and I can afford a better camera? Because I do need a better camera. Look at this shit." So, would I consider it a hobby, passion, or career? It's definitely a hobby, as I've alluded to and said so in the past. Passion, yeah, I've got a passion to do it because everybody wants to have have a laugh and, and make friends, frankly, don't they? And that's what exactly what this channel has done. I certainly consider a lot of people that I sometimes see frequently coming up on my YouTube videos as just, you know, casual acquaintances or friends. But yeah, this this is like us indirectly hanging out it, you know, online, I suppose. Yeah. Thanks for the question, Noah. Right, and the next question comes from Andrew David. Is this right? Karan, you're in? Andrew, I'm sorry, dude. So Andrew says, first of all, Congrats on your sub milestone. 
Also, how does YouTube affect your personal life at all? Well, as I've just said at the beginning of the video, I need personal space to do this. I'm living in a house with, with guys right now. My bedroom's downstairs, it's right next to the living room. I, I don't get much peace, I don't get much personal space, so I've definitely got to be in the mood for it as well. I don't want to give a fake reaction because frankly, you'll probably know or have seen a few like really shitty forced like fake reactions, I, I suppose. You know, you know what I'm saying though? Well, I hope you do. But how does it affect my personal life? It doesn't really, I just do it in my per personal time, like I say, and it's it, it's fun to do because it's it's chilling out and to be honest, a lot of the time I actually enjoy the editing. So Andrew, thanks very much for your question, man. Right, what other questions do we have? We have Dan Smith. Hashtag bring back Dan. No, don't do it! F LOUD NOISES! We have a question from Kat Muller as well. Guten Tag, where did you learn German? I, I don't actually know German, I do have a friend called Jen. You might see her in the occasional comments, Kat. She's she's also German and uh, we've conversed a few times in, in German, but in all honesty, I Google it. I do actually enjoy picking up the odd uh, like word in different languages, as you've probably seen in some of my videos, I suppose, but um, no, I wouldn't call myself fluent, not, not at all. <laughs> the next question comes from the HH, and the HH has actually replied to someone else's comment. Uh, you know who I am. Do I? The HH asks, what's your thoughts of this season's Game of Thrones? Predictions for next season. Well, if you've played World of Warcraft, um, Wrath of the Lich King, the uh, re revelation of the, the Night King's new pet, let's just say, I don't want to spoil it for anybody. Um, yeah, not original to me, but cool. Cool as fuck. Damn right it was cool. My predictions for the next season, well, I haven't read any of, the, any of the books, so anybody who has read the books, don't shoot me down. I am an idiot on this. Relax, okay? As I predicted, the wall was gonna come down, they didn't just come they didn't just wait for the sea to freeze over and march around on, on the ice past the eastern castle. He actually fucking punched through the wall. I bloody hope Tormund is still alive. He needs to get with Bren. <laughs> Brienne, sorry. I don't know, Cersei's gonna remain a bitch, isn't she? I think she is. Yeah, she's gonna, isn't she? So what they're gonna do, I don't know. I heard one theory, by the way, that uh, the Night King would make it all the way down south. He would sit upon the... Ow. Iron Throne. Some of the swords on the Iron Throne are apparently or could be made of Valerian steel. As soon as the Night King sits on it, shatters. Winter ends. The only catch is all of the carnage in his wick. So I doubt that's going to happen though. <laughs> Here's a question for you actually, the HH. Who, who is the next main character that's going to die? We all know one of them is going to die. Who is going to die? KP me. Nathan, how's the new video c coming? <laughs> <laughs> Adolfo Penner asks, Do you watch anime? If so, which one? And what are your favourite TV shows? Well, I've just started watching a new show called The Orville. Lately, I've been watching a television show called The Strain. One of my favourite TV shows, and a book in which I'm currently reading as well, it is called The Expanse. I love anything to do with sci-fi. I'm a big Trekkie fan. Stargate SG-1. Tilk. Indeed. Game of Thrones, of course. Gotham. My favourite animes? I don't know. Dragon Ball Z's got to be a favourite because I grew up watching that. When I was 12 year old, I went to Spain to Benidorm and actually they had Dragon Ball Z on the TV there. So every day at 12 p.m. Um, I, I would just I'd just stay in, my, stay in my room for for about a good hour and just watching Dragon Ball Z. It was awesome. Other than that, Attack on Titan. <laughs> Obviously. And I did really enjoy Sword Art Online as well. That was really good. Season 1. Season 2 where all the fairies and everything comes into it. That that just... Oh, come on. That was... What do you do? God Eater was good as well. Tokyo Ghoul. Death Note, obviously. Did you see the movie as well? What they did with the movie. They just pretty much got all these seasons down in just like one thing. And it was just... Ah, oh, could have been better. This is a controversial opinion as well. But I actually liked Ryo. Certainly I, I liked the voice actor for him as well. Yeah, I enjoyed him. Yeah, pretty... Pretty cool. Aaron Porter asks, how do you get such perfect hair? Well, it's not really perfect. It's quite messy right now. I just can't be asked to do it. Always use conditioner, okay? Always. And if you're gonna blow dry, give it a, a cold blow at the end, because the, the hair shaft has a chance to uh, wrap back in on itself. Otherwise, if you're just blowing it, continuously blowing it, blow drying and giving it heat damage, then you're just gonna get uh, split ends. 
and split ends is like a crack in glass. It's just gonna work its way up your hair shaft and no, you're not gonna have healthy hair. What's my favorite game? Well, I used to play a lot of World of Warcraft, actually. Lately, I haven't. I'm not really playing a lot of games right now, actually, I've got to admit. But I'm, re I'm really looking for like another really good game to get into, actually, if I'm completely honest with you. What's my favorite color? My favorite color is actually blue. Cosmic blue, in fact. I tried to get my hair dyed blue once. It, it was blue tips, in fact. When the gel came out, it honestly looked like I had a wig on because it was just fluorescent blue. So I tried to dye it back and honestly, my head just looked like a rainbow. I couldn't dye my hair for hell. Honestly, it was, it was quite eclectic. And you asked a few other questions, but uh, I've answered enough. Laukinton Minecraft? Will you start doing random talk videos? Just put random jokes while talking about anything in life or YouTube. Well, I did an update video recently, didn't I? What did you all think of that? Oh, I'm curious to know your opinions because I was thinking about maybe it's just uh, doing vlogs and just updating my life and every now and then or just as often just keep doing you know random reaction videos to, to stuff you know just having a laugh because that, that's all i'm on here for that's all you're here for as well i, I assume i'm not that interesting comrade lennon guy asks first of all privet for the q a if you could travel anywhere would where would you go i don't know um i've always 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 wanted to go to japan i love the culture i love the history i love the architecture i love the language i love the language it's really awesome i think i said that right anyway i love picking up little bits of language as well as i've said already before it's only polite a lot of like um native tongue English speakers only know one language and yet the rest of the world knows not only our language but a lot of others. It's, it's a little bit lazy actually when you think about it, of us. Another question comes from Suleiman Sharif. That sounds a little bit like an Arabic name actually. So if so, Ahlan, um, how tall are you? I'm, I think I'm literally just six foot on the nose actually. Maybe just under. Ah, Eric Simon. Okay, this is an easy one. How often do you shave? About once, once a week. Maybe once a fortnight, actually, if I don't go out, I'll make a video. Yeah, and I, I, just, I just trim it pretty much to this level. It comes through thicker, and obviously it comes through blacker. You'll have seen on some of my earlier videos, actually, it's like really, like, really black and really thick. Go, up, go and have a check. My November videos, when I've been doing, like, a Movember, like, um, I managed to raise some money for that, so I, I, I grew it out over a month. I didn't shave for a month, so, yeah, round about my, my November time videos from last year. Go check them out and, and see, see what it's like, I guess, if you're interested. <laughs> Number one, you lurking in the comments. All right, dude. Congratulations, he says. For the Q&A, what is your favorite album, film, and cartoon? Dude, that's such a heavy question. <laughs> uh, favorite album, I don't know. Um, my mum and dad one Christmas bought me a Kerrang! album CD. It had all sorts, you know, Cancer Bats, and, uh, Billy Talent and all that, uh, Slipknot and Papa Roach. All the old classic rock songs I love, dude. Um, as for favorite film, that's another hard one as well. Certainly up there is um, Equilibrium with uh, Christian Bill and Sean Bean. Really love the concept of the film. Some really cool action scenes in it when the CGI doesn't spoil it, that is. Another favorite film of mine is Aliens. That's Alien 2. Ellen Ripley and the Marines when they go on to ALV 42 or something, wherever it is. Love that film. Chicks, come here. <laughs> yeah, Kingsman. Really enjoyed Kingsman. I'm thinking about it on the spot, by the way. I shouldn't really be doing this. I should be planning this video out, but alas, I'm not. In fact, just to prove it to you, I've got no script in front of me. And I think I'm just going to do one more question. Yes, I. it is a few days later after recording this. I've just been out last night and I'm really, really hungover, so. What's the one thing you absolutely despise that many other people love? Ooh, that's a good question. Well, I think I've already touched on the films and the cartoons with anime and whatnot, so favorite album? I'm not really sure. But if you would ask me about magician, uh, magicians? <laughs> Musicians? I think my my uh, my favorite genre of, of music, let's just say, is industrial, rock, metal. I love a lot of synth and electro, actually, but I can listen to anything. My god, I love Daft Punk as well. Really love them. And finally, uh, yeah, what's the one thing you absolutely despise that many other people love? Hmm. Ah, this might ruffle a few feathers, but 
See what I did there? Yeah, um, I do not believe in the paranormal. I used to believe in ghosts, don't get me wrong. I used to really believe in ghosts. I used to go, go on ghost hunts. I used to watch the shows. I used to believe in psychics, mediums and everything. But I'm a scientist, right? You know this now. So I, I really can't find it in me to believe in that stuff because frankly, there's just as much, you know, credible evidence for, for Bigfoot and, and fairies and <laughs> whatnot. Um, I used to think EVPs were the most sound <laughs> form of proof for like ghosts and whatnot. With, with EVPs, w when you're not making sound, if you've got a halfway decent microphone, you should know this. The sensitivity of a microphone uh, increases in the absence of sound, so it will pick up any, like pretty much anything, air currents. If, if Jesus can appear on toast, Distinguishable sounds should be able to be should be able to manifest on on a microphone just from bloody air currents, uh, Ouija boards, and all this. You know that's idiomotor movement. Google it. That that is a thing. You move it without realizing. EEGs, electroencephalographs, they actually prove that the motor cortex of the brain is actually active as you move your hand. So literally, you tell people a story, they're going to spell something out basically without realizing it. Confirmation bias idiomotive movement, suggestion, and, and a story in the head. It all contributes. Frankly, aliens are more credible because why? It is impossible that this little rock that we occupy in the entire universe is unique in that it has life. Anyways, everybody, it's been a long time coming. Okay, so I'm gonna edit this out today if I can. And yeah, let me know what you think about the video. Leave some more requests. Um, if there's any more, if, if, if there's any more um, different videos like the masturbation video that, that I did, leave some suggestions there as well. I think that's about it. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. My name is Nathan. Please check out the rest of my channel, Facebook, and I don't have Twitter. <laughs> and I hope this has been illuminating. So thanks again for watching. I'll see you in my next videos. Thanks very much for watching. Bye bye.